Trigonometry in any triangle. This is a further maths GCSE question, and it's a which is a level two qualification. So um, we've got a triangle. Um, we don't know if it's right angled. Probably not, as we're trying to find x, which look is, is the angle looks like a triangle. Obviously, it's not drawn accurately. So we have to apply um, either the sine rule, or the cosine rule here, because um, it's not a right angle triangle. So we have to use the rules for any triangle. And uh, sometimes it's quite tricky to figure out which of the two rules to use. But if you sort of stick to the idea with the cosine rule, if you have um, three sides involved in the question, either um, you're given two and one's missing, um, and the one that's missing, the opposite angle is given, um, or you're given all three sides. Certainly if you're given all three sides, it's definitely the cosine rule. Um, and therefore we can find the angle in this using this version of the formula here um, which is quite nicely given to you. If you don't get given that formula, which you do for this exam but uh, I know on GCSE higher exams you're not given that version of the formula then you can just put the values into the equation and then rearrange it to get um, what cos A equals by taking away the B and the C squared and then dividing by minus 2BC Okay, so when we're trying to use this formula, we need to label the sides. And the only thing that we really need to be careful with is A and little a. A, the capital letters A, are the angles, and the, the small letters are the sides opposite the angles. So in this case, I'm going to label that A and that little a. The B and the C don't actually matter. I'm going to put big C, B here, and big C here. So long as you label up the little, little letters, which are the sides opposite the angles. Okay, so we're just going to put the numbers into the formula. So we've got the cos of the angle A, which is actually x in this question, cos x, is b squared, which is 9 squared, plus the c squared, which is 16 squared, minus twice a squared, oh, sorry, not twice a, so a squared, 20 squared, all over um, 2 times 9 times 16. Okay, I'm going to bring the calculator in for this. Oop the answer there from earlier. Right, so um, I need to work out this fraction, so let's put the fraction 9 in. Um, 9 squared plus 16 squared minus 20 squared all over 2 times 9 times 16. Okay, that gives us a fraction of minus 7 over 32. So that's the cos of x is equal to that. So if I want to find x, I need to do cos to the minus 1 of minus 7 over 32. So shift cos to get the cos to the minus 1 of the answer I just had. Gives me 102.6356. Uh, Two five one. Okay, I mean you're not asked to round it at all, so that's a perfectly fine answer. Um, I would tend to round my answers if not told to three significant figures, the sort of standard accuracy we use in maths. Um, I'm looking at the mark scheme on this, and they're actually being a bit fussy with with what they want. They want something between one hundred and two point six to 102.64 um, but they will they say it's fine to allow this if you have all the correct working to go with it it's fine but if you just put that um, it's not going to allow that as the answer mark um, I don't see why that's the case because the standard accuracy we use is three significant figures so you should be fine but as always write down what the calculator tells you before you put the answer in case you make a mistake and um, you don't lose all the marks then or a lot of the marks anyway. So there we go, trigonometry in triangle, specifically finding the angle using the cosine rule.